What's up friends, Ryan Nut here, and today we're gonna to be looking at how to make instructions for your models that you make in MLCAD. Now this is the Temple of the Sun, and it's the one that I was wanting to build today, but I realized I had never made instructions for it. So, this is the process that I use. Now, I'm sure there's a similar process for LEGO Digital Designer, but I prefer to use MLCAD here. So, this is our model, it's done. Um, and it works better if you have multi-part Like you can see this one has all these different sub models that make everything it would probably work if you Did it all as one big big piece, but Like the columns here the plants the door the these things the roof some of it are all different sub models and you can set There's different ways of doing this you can set steps like as you're building that you want it to follow but this doesn't have any of those listed if we expand this eventually you can see it's all just a bunch of pieces there's no breaks or steps or anything in there so what we do we download this program called lego instruction creator you can search for this LIC whatever. I don't know if this is the latest version, but I think it is. But if we open this, we can see it comes up with a blank screen. So, make sure you can see it. You go up to import model, and then you find it here. Um, where is it? Go through all this crap into here. It is this one. And then double click here. And this is going to take a while. Not a while, but it, it'll sit there on zero, at least mine does, and then all of a sudden it'll zip to the end. So we will come back when this is ready to go. And then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so after. I don't know 20 minutes it got done messing around uh, one thing probably wouldn't have taken so long but you got to make sure you set your pass right after I move all this stuff onto Dropbox I never reset the pass so it couldn't find any of the pieces and it just sat there and didn't do anything anyhow after we fixed that it worked out great so you can see it tells you it's got 600 or 6,362 pieces and 218 pages one thing you got to remember with this is it kind of doesn't always do the Like if you're making it for a Lego like to sell the Lego model like this you might want to spend some time going through all these pages and editing and combining steps because if you have Like for example a row of the building and you have two by threes and two by fours and two by sixes sometimes it'll make each each group like all the two by fours one set step and so forth and that's why there's so many pages but if you're just building it for yourself and don't care don't waste your time it just takes a little bit longer another thing is you can see the scale isn't correct you can adjust that and you can actually highlight a bunch of pages and do it all at once it does take quite a bit of time for it to kind of reprocess and re-render all the images but again if you're not if you're just looking to step by step build it it doesn't matter so let's just pick a random page here you can see it's starting to, it starts at the bottom and goes up so if you're building a ship or something which I built the Leonov from instructions I made before JK Brickworks whatever posted this posted his instructions and it worked fine it was a little wonky and not as good as his instructions but it worked so just keep scrolling down good enough one thing you might run into is it centers it on the page so as it gets taller you won't be able to see what it is because it'll be like the middle of the building so you got to kind of click the model and pull it down on each of the pages it's a pain in the butt but it's a good way. See, here's a better example of a smaller model. Just to make the plants out front, they're a sub model, 
in the thing or in the MLCAT document. So you click this little expansion box. And you can see it does whatever. And then it imports it to where it needs to be, and life is good. So you can see these little areas it's leaving blank here. That is for these. So it, it does a little sub model of those. And you can see it's in there. Like I say, it started from the bottom. So when it got to the center of the piece, it said, oh, I need to add these. So it added them in there for you. So we go on and keep going. And lunchbox is coming in the door. So we have our side detail, which is these little doinks. You can see. Adds them in. Makes a door. Adds the arches. And now, you kind of can, well, maybe it won't do it on this one. Maybe it's not tall enough. And then the side plant. Then it adds those in. And you can see there's different pages buried in here that I'm not going through on all these. Then we keep going up. And you know, the pattern repeats all the rounds, so it, it's fairly simple, straightforward to know what you're doing. So there's that. And I th think that's about the top before I. My mouse button sticks sometimes all right so we go and here's our sub model for the pillars and on and on and on all right yeah sometimes when you get to and it's got a lot in its memory it slows down so it sticks the pillars and like i said you can scale all these and move it around like it's as simple if i remember right as well, yeah, see there it moved. Like I say, it takes it a minute. So it's kind of a pain. All right, so then we go to our sub model for the roof. And it will walk through the various steps to build the roof. We expand this. Goes through all this stuff. See, there's a bunch of steps. And those ones are completely off the page, so that's awesome. So let's just fix one here just for giggles. Alright, so you click on... Step number, I believe. It's been a while. And you say... Not professional. I should have done this before. Anyway, yeah, there. Scale. Set the size. We'll just go to. Yeah. See, it takes it a minute because every time you type in a number. So yeah, sometimes you gotta do that. But again, if you're just building it for yourself, you can just do one and say, oh yeah, I gotta build up to there. Do it every few pages. So we do this one too. And there we go. All right. Then we have another sub model, which is the rooftop. And I built these like this because I knew this would be kind of a challenge. So anyway, I'll scale all this before I make it into the 
PDF, which we'll talk about. But then it, we'll spit out a part list for this whole mess, too. So that's pretty handy. But MLCAT spits out a part list as well, so it depends on which one you want. So anyway, let's get cracking with fixing the scale on some of these, and I will show you how to make a PDF. All right, we got them all scaled to where you can see it. So now the first thing we want to do is save it. All right, and now we're going to go up here to export and generate PDF. Now hit that and it thinks about it for a while. Hurry up computer, you're embarrassing me. But eventually it'll pop up with a little dialogue saying it's generating them. That's going to take it quite a while because there's 200 something pages. So see, this is not responding nonsense. This is why we save it first. But we will let it sit here and hopefully it will figure out what it's doing with itself. All right. If that didn't actually take but maybe 10 minutes. So if we look at the folder here that it spits it out into, it spits it out in the cache folder. And then you can see it spits out an image that it puts on the PDF for each page. Every single one, all the way down. And that's what takes the majority of the time. So once it renders all those images, it goes and spits out a PDF. Uh, that was 140 something megabytes. But, we scale the damn Adobe. All right. Maybe make it a little smaller. There we go. Scroll. And there you go. Sorry, it's a big file, so it takes my computer a minute. Build it and build it. So, I hope this was useful to you. Uh, let me know what you think. How you make your instructions. Let's see, yeah. And if something like this is going to help you out in the future. Yeah, remember to keep it real. Thanks for watching, and watch while we build this in the next video. Thanks. Bye.